Hey guys, so basically when you want to create a lead gen form, uh, when you're using the lead gen objective, you need to create a lead form. And when you're using messenger lead gen mechanism, you also need to put in this privacy policy. So both, you know, um, you know, you required, you are required to create a privacy policy for both. Now, um, essentially, when you have a website, you can actually just put your website link over here. However, for most people that do not have a website, uh, one thing I know for sure is you're not allowed to put your Facebook page link here to go through. So basically, what I'm going to teach you here is uh, for, I'm going to teach you a very simple way to create your own privacy policy link without needing to have a website. So um, the mechanism is called we are going to use the Google uh, document. So when you log into Gmail, you just click on this nine dot, go all the way down and you'll be able to go into your drive. Now, all you need to do is very simple. You just go into drive. And then uh, you just create a new document, come down, you create Google Docs. Okay, so once you have created a Google Doc, um, all you need to do is basically, uh, you know, this is how it works, All right. So this is a Google Doc. So Google Doc essentially works as a document that is, you know, in the cloud. So look, I already prepared an example privacy policy for you. So all you need to do is you just need to download this privacy policy and copy the whole thing over to this Google document. And then after that, you just name it privacy policy for your company. You just write it there for your company. And then after that, you just scroll down, you know, and uh, for those that are highlighted, you just need to change to your company name, company address and etc. And then this is a very simple, basic uh, privacy policy that is designed for lead generation and messenger lead gen mechanism. So once you're put in and change everything, the next thing you need to do here is to click on this share button. Okay, and then after that, go all the way down, get link, under this get link feature, you click change to anyone with the link. So this is how we work. So once it's done, you just copy this link. Okay, this is it. I mean, the whole idea here is you want to turn this uh, document into uh, international, I mean, as in like universal shareable link, as in everybody with the link will be able to come in and see. So that makes this document a legit document with a URL, which is what is really required. So you click this copy link and then you come back to your lead form and you just paste the link into the thing that should do. Okay, I've tested, you know, at the moment while, while I'm still make while I make this video, this is workable. So all you need to do is just go all the way and complete anything you need to do and publish. Now, the next thing I want to share with you here is how do we extract the lead? You, you see, um, very simple. I mean, for those lead that is being captured, is being stored in a place that you need to come in and uh, uh, you extract the lead for you to contact them and for you to put into your so-called um, your database management system and everything. So, okay, how do we extract the lead? Very simple. Come into your Facebook page. It has to be your Facebook page, right? Not your Facebook profile. So come into your Facebook page. You scroll all the way on the left sidebar. You will see publishing tools. Okay, so you click into your publishing tools. And then basically you'll be able to come to, of course, the publishing tool. Um, it's taking a little bit longer to load over here. So when you are inside your publishing tool, so this is what your post and all this, right? On your left sidebar, do you see this lead ad forms? So you click into your lead ad forms. So these are all the lead forms that you have created. So basically for all the form over here, once they are lead coming in, okay? And then uh, you just need to come over and mouse this item and click download. So uh, from time to time, you just download by date range or download new leads and whatsoever, however you want to use it. So I strongly encourage that you explore. Now remember, leads has to be attended within 24 hours to I mean, to make sure that we're not losing the quality of the leads. So uh, it is actually advisable that you come in every day, at least once a day, or if you are possible to do that twice a day to extract the lead. Because remember, all the leads has to be downloaded within the first 90 days time because the leads will be, uh, you know, expired and you won't be able to download leads 90 days older. So that's the whole idea. Right. So that gives you a better idea about how do we actually let, uh, you know, add the create and add a privacy policy link uh, for your lead form and messenger lead gen mechanism and how do we extract lead. So if you like this video, remember to click subscribe button and uh, so that you won't miss any Facebook advertising and digital marketing related videos coming up in this channel. So this is Jason. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.